3,000 pounds. Now, universities are, are saying that they want higher fees. Are the Conservatives going to raise fees if you win the election, or are you going to keep them the same? I think the fees are going to stay much as they are. And the idea of well, you haven't have have said, you haven't said that. The Conservative Party have said that they are going to review it. Are you going to raise well, fees? Well, there's, or are you going to keep there, is, there is a review currently taking place in respect of all of this issue. Um, it's the Brown Report, and uh, I think it would probably be wrong to preempt what the Brown Report may say, but uh, we haven't got any plans. Uh, to increase that limit. I mean, the idea of that limit was that more entrepreneurial universities might uh, charge fees at a slightly lower rate than the maximum in order that, to, to provide an attraction for that particular establishment. That particular part of the policy seems to have failed. Uh, and I might say, so has the allocation of the money bit failed, because so many students uh, this academic year because of the government's inefficiency in running this particular program, didn't get their money up. Well, and, 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 and that left people in very much difficulty. And it, 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 it is pretty that. typical of the that. way uh, this government has run um, the, its distribution of public funds in that they didn't manage to get it right on so many subjects. But if, if the Brown Report or the review does recommend raising fees above the current situation, is the Conservative Party going to follow those recommendations? Uh, I, I don't know the answer on that. Uh, it, will, it, uh, it will probably be it, it's part of our manifesto. If, they, if the Brown Review says it, it, that that's the appropriate thing to do, then I suspect we would probably run along with that. But let's remember that the tuition fees are not the entire cost of providing a university place. The tuition fee, you can't get a university place for £3,000, £3,250. It's a contribution towards the cost. It's not the, it's not the fee in its entirety. And if the fee were to increase slightly, then again I would make the argument that those people who benefit from that education will earn higher salaries throughout their working life. And the broad principle that they should contribute something towards that cost is entirely appropriate. Okay. Okay. Andy King, uh, Labour's record on this isn't very good really because Labour have previously, before 2001, said you weren't going to introduce support fees and following the election you did introduce support fees. Are you going to tell us this time, if you win this election, whether you're going to or not? Right. I'm, I'm very clear uh, exactly what we're going to do. The um, introduction of the top of fees was an extremely difficult situation for the well, especially for the students, really. It made it very difficult for the students to be. They would apply to university in 2000 or 2000 on the knowledge that they weren't going to pay high fees and then fees were introduced. So it's very difficult to It was extremely difficult for Parliament to handle that situation. I will um, be lobbied long and hard and listen very carefully um, to the arguments that were put forward by the, by the student bodies. Um, and we have done everything we can in order to maintain, to maintain the, uh, the level of uh, applications and to actually increase the uh, level of applications to you for the university places from young people in the school. We're committed to um, uh, allowing as many young people as will benefit from further and higher education as possible to do so. Um, the background, of course, to the, the top of fees issue is that um, the most prestigious universities, commonly called the, the Russell Group, they don't want to just uh, have the fees of the three. 2,400 or whatever. Um, in fact, uh, I think Oxford University is a part of that uh, lobbying group, and they're lobbying very, very hard indeed. They look across the, the golden pond to America, and they want to introduce fees of 10, 20 thousand pounds a year, not 3,000 pounds a year. So government is constantly having to, uh, to manage. Very strong demands by those very powerful institutions um, who are saying, if you don't give us significant uh, powers to raise the fees to whatever level we feel is necessary, then you are eroding the standards of this academic institution um, and we will not be able to compete in a global market for, uh, for, 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 for people to take up educational opportunities in our universities and we will be overtaken by the universities in all the other developed countries. Is, is that an indirect way of saying that Labour are going to raise fees? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, 
again, is not the same. Not this day, but usually in the different things. I tell you, um, I for one would not want to be part of the seeing um, student fees raised to a level that made it extremely difficult, if not impossible, for young people to access education. Okay. Um, and I would also want to make sure that whatever was done was as affordable as possible to Mark said, what's the cheapest uh, level that we have there for borrowing money? Well, the thing is, you see, for those first 10 years after the um, university, of course, those who benefit most from university education will also do so in the marketplace when it comes to jobs. But they will also need that money, most of all, when they're first setting up home with a family and others. So I wouldn't want to put any more pressure on young people at that time than they already are. I just want to comment. Go on. Okay, no, I, I, I think two, two very brief things. Number no one, I think that across the United Kingdom, it should be the common element that all the students have the same deal, whether it's Scotland, Ireland, or England, or Wales. And however we finance that, I think it's unfair <coughs> to take one part of the principality against the other. So I think that's how the average person feels. And they're like, why can we do it in this part of the country and not the rest of the country? The second point I would make very simply, the greatest switch off for our population in this country is when we can't get straight answers. I know it's a complicated story, and there's a lot that's going on in our nation, but what, what I believe would be important is stop putting our children into debt, let them have their education free, I'll pay more tax, as will my colleagues and friends and neighbours, so that we can actually give them a good start. I think that's a very serious issue that we need to address, but it's always passed on as being not the way to do it. I don't mind being the extra income. back at this because obviously you've asked this question it's nice to you how do you feel about what's been said are you, are you nervous about obviously it won't affect you but you've got sisters who are younger are you nervous about their future at university um, not particularly i um, question was scared morning um, being the young peggy for the student students and i think that and i got really good uh, mark paul as you said on that but it's the fact that scotland is getting free so and the fact that we're subsidising instead that's kind of Point I was getting at, so I think it should be more than paid. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sam, I saw Sam. Have you got a point? Uh, aimed at Andy King. Is it a yes, no, or maybe to the fees? <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Well, uh, the question obviously was about um, the level of fees, but one of the issues for students is, the, is this idea because this report is going to report after the election, and <coughs> universities are trying out the rates of the fees. Are Labour going to ensure? We told us before 2001 we weren't going to introduce top of fees, and we did. We're being told now, we're waiting for this report, is the Labour Party going to tell us, and the same for the Conservative Party, are you going to raise fees? Well, as I said, I don't have to answer the question. No. So, I'm not waiting for that person. So, you're representing the Labour Party? I represent the party that wants to make sure young people have the opportunity to take up higher education, yeah, and in as affordable a way as possible. So, yes, of course, you can't set up a, a commission to review something and, and, and say, well, no matter what they say, we're not going to take any notice of it. Of course, one has to listen very carefully to it, but then come up with a judgment, and I think that the judgment that we come up with is one that says that the fees are as high as they are um, so the answer for myself would be that I would fight very hard indeed to make sure that fees do not rise inexorably in, in, in the years ahead. That's, so I, it's not a yes, no, maybe. It's